Hey guys, Lex here, back for some more Digimon Survive. Last time, we got into a fight with those three Digimon and explored the castle a bit. Now we're inside to see the queen. Let's go. What is this place? It's like where you expect to talk to the king in some fantasy RPG. Yeah, you'd think that's an actual throne. That's the word for where a king and queen sits, right? How could you be talking in definitions right now? There could be a evil queen here somewhere. More importantly, we still haven't found Mew. Mew, where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Hey, Kaido, just cut it out. Keep yelling like that and the queen's sure to find us. What's going on? Who's making all that noise? Wait, I know that voice. Huh? Is that who I think it is on Bone Last Row? Hey, there she is. <laughs> I thought so. Wait, Mew is the queen? Oh, no way. I had no idea. Well, who else would it be? Yeah, I had my suspicions too. So did I. I thought it might be her once we heard the queen was a little girl. Yes, though I found that somewhat hard to believe until I had seen it for myself. You mean you all knew? Yeah, of course. I got it right from the start. Nah, I'm not buying that from you, Dracron. Well, now we can be sure the queen isn't some horrible monster. That's the important thing. I don't think Shuji had any idea either. <laughs> hey, what are y'all doing barging in here? Does... Doesn't she not have the bag? Mew, I finally found you. You're alright. I'm, oh, I'm so glad. So glad you're not hurt. Kaido has tears in his eyes. Exactly what you'd expect out of a touching reunion. No doubt Mew's glad to see him too. Ugh, oh, shut up. Huh? This is the worst. You chased me all the way here? You know I did. Now come on, it's not safe for you to be out here on your own. I'm not here on my own. I've got everyone here. Everyone here? What do you mean? Are you talking about those little monsters? Well, they did say they were servants of the queen. That's right, they're all my servants. Oh, except for Siakuma, she's my best friend. Servants? Hmm. Hey, I said Siakuma was different, didn't I? You tell him, Siakuma. It's a pleasure to meet you, Kaido. Uh, another monster? Don't call her a monster! Shakuman's the only one who understands me! That's right, Mew! So you're the one who put her up to this? Shakuman's not like that! I don't believe what I'm hearing! You're always like this! You act tough, pick fights, won't shut up, and are so annoying! No, I just... I worry about you. And anyway, I don't want to be around those strangers from some other school. Oh, you mean us? Mew, you could trust Takuma and the others. They're actually really nice. Now, come on. I've been worried sick about you. Stop goofing off. Let's get moving. You're being bratty about this. It's just making things worse for everyone. Ugh, listen to you. You think you're so much better than me. Well, I hate you, Kaido. So there. Mew. So much for caring and support of brother and sister. These two are out of control. Kaido's always trying to act all cool, but can't keep it up in front of his sister, huh? 
You never can tell what things are really between brothers and sisters. Strangely enough, out of everyone here, Shuji seems the most calm. But I should be focused on what to do in this situation. So, what do we do about this? It doesn't seem like Miu is going to just give in. I was wondering the same thing. Kaido is in much shape to help right now. <laughs> she hates me. She said she hates me. Kaito, really? She dealt him one heck of a blow. Miu might just be the strongest one here. So what are we going to do? She's still just a child. We should scold her if we're acting out. Without even listening to her side of things, he'll probably just make her more upset. What concerns me most of all is Mew's lack of any sense of danger. It's kind of amazing she wasn't scared of her own, even with Yakima and the others. Maybe we should explain to her just how dangerous this world can be. Don't you think it'd be faster to tell her with stuff? She's still a kid after all. If Haru and Miyuki said we had toys and candy, I bet she'd love it. I don't think so. I'd rather play with my sister. Play. Oh right, I forgot you two were like this. Okay, enough whispering and it's getting on my nerves. Get out of here already. Or else... Uh, I'm not sure what she's planning, but she's up to something. Takuma, what do we do? Whatever it is, we need to act fast. Should we scold her like Shuji thought? Emphasize danger like Aoi suggested? Or should we take Minoru's approach and try appealing to her with something she'd want? Uh... Oh, I was gonna say food. <laughs> we have food. <laughs> so... Hey, if you come with us, we've got lots of great food you can eat. I don't need your food. I've got lots of sweets. That's enough for me. Oh, where do you get sweets? We could stay here. <laughs> Eating sweets all day is the best. Mew, how is that healthy? See, I knew you'd try to lecture me about that. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Don't you want some nice warm soup? Or a juicy piece of meat now and then? Nice warm soup and juicy pieces of meat? That's right. We may not have the best ingredients, but Aoi's cooking is delicious. Well, I'd be happy to cook for you as best as I can. That does sound like maybe it could be nice. I guess I'll use as many vegetables as possible to make a good nourishing meal. Vegetables? No thanks! I'll stick with the sweets! Oh no. <laughs> Grr, what is with you and vegetables? And I feel like we almost had her there. <laughs> I'm so sick of this! I should have known my brother and his friends would be annoying! Sounds like she doesn't like us at all. Yeah, this could be bad. We should just stay the night, though. So, what do we do, Mew? Isn't it obvious? My brother is always worrying about you. Well, I've had enough of it. I can take care of myself. I'm gonna hit the switch. Oh, wait, Mew! Stop! This is your brother! Don't you think it's going a little far? Oh, it's fine. It's not gonna kill him or anything. Mew, what do you think you're doing? Just think I'll get you out of here. Alright now, so long! Wow, you really did it. Did what? Well, wait. What? What's happening? Yuki, hold on. Hmm. The whole floor just tilted. Is this some kind of trap door? Oh god, we're falling again? 
I fall in. Oh, guess she dropped us down here. Where is here exactly? Is everyone okay? Yuki? Haru? I'm here, and my sister is too. Too... Well, I'm glad you're alright. From what I can tell, everyone's here. Man, why would the castle in an amusement park be set up like that? In this world, it seems to make just as much sense as everything else. Then again, maybe someone made some notifications. Who? The monsters? Do you think we could make something as impressive as this? Who knows? After all, how would I know what sorts of things you monsters are capable of? Oh, yeah. Well, your sister sure is a piece of work, Kaido. Sorry. She hasn't always been like that. Just something happened. Like what? She's been through a lot. That's why I swore I'd always protect her. No matter what. Not that I've done a great job. Kaido does always seem upset when he talks about Mew. I wonder what happened, but it's probably better if I don't pry. Well, I don't know what it is that Kis and Mew are dealing with. But I think you got a little overprotective and that backfired on you. You think so? I just worry about her, that's all. Well, sometimes it can feel suffocating being on the other side of that. Hmm, was it just me or did Saki look really sad when she said that? Saki, is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Maybe I just imagined it. Anyway, we need to think up a way for us to get out of here. Yes, we cannot simply stay here forever. Then why don't we all try looking for an exit? Got it. We're all running the search again. Must be a way for us to escape. I should take a look around. For any secrets? No secrets. Floor, bed, wall, iron bars, pillar. Let's check the floor. Hmm, this block looks like it should move, but it won't budge. Do you think there's some kind of trick to it? Let's keep looking around. Yeah, I'll see what I can find too. Good thinking, you never know what you might find. Guess there's an escape room now. Bed. Bah, looks like this isn't it either. Yeah, apparently this is just an ordinary bed. Real beat up bed that. Still, the sight of it ugh, makes me feel sleepy. Want to take a nap on that? I don't think that's the best idea. Hey, I just said it made me feel sleepy, okay? Come on, we should search somewhere else. I mean, I could fall asleep on that. Just kidding, I don't fall asleep. Well... Hmm, I thought this might be it, but... It didn't move or anything when I punched it. Does this hurt your hand to punch a rock like that? Oh, don't worry about that, my hands are tough. But you're bleeding. That looks like it would really hurt. You're right, we should treat that hand right away. We got plenty of bandages. Only I don't know. How? Should I call for Aoi? I'm telling you, it's fine. If you tell Aoi, she'll make a whole big thing out of it. Just keep quiet, okay? Yeah, I bet she'll really let you have it. Probably yell at you for being so reckless. You check the floor, the pill- Oh, I didn't check the pillar or the bars. And the walls. But we found no signs of an exit. Man, I give up. Hmm. These bars can't hold me. I'll bust right through them! Kaito, what are you doing? Take this! Hey, wait, stop! That noise is really scary. 
Harry. You're upsetting Haru and Miyuki. Just deal with that. I don't think so. That hurts my ears. Yeah, mine too. Kaito, give it a rest. You're going to hurt yourself. It's not like you're actually going to kick your way through the sturdy iron bars. So what else am I supposed to do? Well, now, if it's more creatures who've suffered at the hands of her loudness... Who are you? Show yourself. Was that Tendamon again? I couldn't tell the voice. Oh, okay. I have no idea who this is. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. I am no enemy of yours. Oh, hmm. Oh, look at all that hair. Who are you? No, no. No need to get so flustered. I can explain everything in time. Yes, all in good time, but first things first. I should release you from your cell. Good, huh? Come along this way. He, he really just let us out. Who is this old man? Very good now, the exit's over this way. We all left the cell as the old man suggested, but... Hey, should we really be following this guy? It could be another trap. Maybe we should have just stayed in there for the night. Hmm? What is... what? What's that? Am I so suspicious? Yikes, he heard me. How can you expect us to trust a monster like you? <laughs> you don't have to put it like that. Yeah, if nothing else, he at least let us out of the cell, didn't he? But how do you know he's not taking us someplace even worse? Have you all forgotten what happened yesterday? Remember how our Kenimon tricked us? How much we suffered because we trusted her? Well, no, but... Shuji does have a point. We did get tricked by our Kenimon yesterday, and the results were terrible. But should we let that make us paranoid? Well, I won't force you to come with me. What is it you propose to do? We don't have many options. If we want to leave, I feel like we'll have to trust him. But Shuji could be right about this being a trap. In which case, should we find our own way out, or wait until Mia is in a better mood? Just follow him. Well, I think we should trust this guy and follow his lead. Takuma! How could you decide that so easily? Well, he, he's not making weird faces because I can't see his face. <laughs> Nothing about the decision was easy. It was easy for me. But don't you think his letting us out of the cell without telling you or Shyakuman earns him some trust? But... You can't prove this isn't a trap. Can't prove negative. Maybe not. I, I just feel like we can trust this guy. I think so too. It's unusual for those children to offer an opinion without being asked. Kids can be pretty good at intuiting this sort of thing. I think I'm convinced. Yeah. If... Anything happens, be ready to run for it. Now then, shall I resume escorting you out of this place? This place? But would you mind telling us about yourself as we go? Yeah, I'd feel safer if we knew more about you. Very well then, I suppose I could tell you about myself along the way. Oh! Start with your name. Tell us your name. I am Jijimon. So, Jijimon. Sorry to ask this again, but why did you let us out of that cell? Yeah, aren't you one of Mia's servants or so whatever? Oh, 
I'm actually the one who was more or less in charge here until recently. You mean you're like the old king? Oh no, I simply tried to ensure that small and weak creatures could live here in peace. But then why is Mew the queen? All the other little monsters we ran into here were scared of her. I'm afraid those I looked after are rather simple-minded and gullible. They were easily taken in. Yeah, I can see that. Her roundness's companion is quite sharp. She pretended to have been turned into a rock. Then faked her recovery. The others now believe her rowdiness to be a sorceress. Uh, wait, you mean all Siyakmin is this open and closed shell? <laughs> That's what they meant when they said she could turn things to stone. It wasn't even some powerful monster ability. Wow, are the monsters that live here really that dense? And why did you do something? Weren't you the one who had been taking care of them? Well, they all seemed like they were having so much fun, I didn't see the harm in it. I took it as an opportunity to retire. Oh wow, look at how things turned out. You should have stepped up earlier, right, Kaito? Nah, if anything, I feel like I owe this guy an apology. Sorry, my little sister's caused you so much trouble. Well, I hardly even know what to say to that. Don't worry about it. No, oh, you don't understand. You see, I was rather enjoying myself, too. You were? Yes, you see, her rowdiness doesn't do any sort of cleaning or picking up after herself. It's given me the perfect excuse to help care for the others even more. What? It's like you're the stereotype of some kindly old man. Well, sorry, but she's my little sister and I'm gonna get her to come back with me. Yes, yes, I understand. That I will leave to you. I'm sure you'll think of something. What? You're not going to offer us help or anything? Am I not taking you to the exit as we speak? Oh yeah, I mean, I appreciate that. And would you look at that? We talked for so long now that we've reached the next path. Is it still a long way to the circus? Oh, it's not much further, but I'd better stay with you to be sure you don't get lost. Wow, having Jijimon lead the way was definitely the right choice. Hang in there. By the time we reach the end of this path, we'll be at the surface. Uh-oh. Hi, are you alright? What happened? Oh, it was nothing. I just tripped. Sorry. I'll be more careful. It is kind of hard to walk down here, isn't it? Miyuki, you watch your step too, okay? Okay. Yes, this area is prone to collapses. I'm afraid it's aging rather poorly. Yeah, this place is pretty beat up, isn't it? It is. Remember the state of the school was a surprise, and this place isn't much better. I wonder when they built this park. Yes, well, it's been decades since I started living here. Wait, did you say decades? Is that a long time, Takuma? It's a super long time. Indeed. 
But the way time is reckoned here in our world may be different than in yours. Still, by my recollection, this park has stood here for several decades. How does that make any sense? Who could have built this place so long ago and how? How do they make them in your world? Well, adults use all this heavy machinery. It's like a huge construction project. In other words, such places are not built in the day. Exactly, it takes years to build an amusement park. Well, maybe it's a mistake if anyone actually built this place. What do you mean? Like, all sorts of crazy stuff happens in this world, right? So what if, to use an extreme example, this place was just suddenly appeared one day? Because of some mysterious powers, doesn't that seem like how things work here? Did the same thing happen with the school? That it wasn't built, but created by some strange power? It does seem possible. You've been around since before this place was here, right, Jijiman? Oh, yes, why you ask? Tell us anything about how it was made, and how much time it took. Oh, but first, you must first understand the nature of this world and how it came to be. Nature of this world? Another huge topic. According to legend, this world was created long ago by a supremely powerful being. You could say this being was like a god. Indeed, it was a good, it was a god from our perspective. Mm. If this being created your world, then schools and amusement parks would be easy. That could explain why the cable car was running too. And why the food and medicine are fine, even though the school is old and run down. So, wait, you're saying this has all been the work of a god? Who else do you think could have done all this? I mean, I didn't have anything in mind, but I never thought we were dealing with a god. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You see, this godlike being faked away long ago. And the current caretaker of the world likely wishes to reshape it into its preferred form. So he's saying the creator of this world and its caretaker are two different beings. And maybe we're not dealing with a god, but still. Sorry, but I don't get it. Really, you don't? I thought for sure you were following all this. How could I? I mean, I don't see how any of this fits together. I don't get it either. Sorry. Yeah, don't worry about it. This is beyond all of us. I see. Well, I'm afraid I can't explain things any more clearly than I already have. Not sure if I learned something from all that, or if I'm more confused than ever. Hmm. Agumon, you seem like you've been thinking things over for a while now. You're right, it does seem thoughtful. I guess the conversation was just that hard to follow. Funny. Hmm, what's funny? I wonder why. What is it, Agumon? Did something Jijimon said make you realize something? Oh no, I'm talking about this funny feeling I've got. You mean you haven't even been paying attention? <laughs> Never mind that, what's this feeling of yours? Something around here just isn't right. Hmm, now that you mention it, I sense it too. Yes, something is off. Oh, like what? I feel it too, but I'm not sure what this is. I 
It's like cards hard to describe. I don't like it. There must be something to it if you can all feel it, but what could it be? We don't really know. You think we should look around? Sorry, Takuma, but I want to get back to you as soon as we can. Alright, we should do that. Could always take the time to investigate later. My bad, Kaido. I'll start by going back to see you. We're approaching the exit now, but don't get too far behind. Hey, we're outside. Phew, this is where it comes out. Hey, it's so bright out here. Feels like ages since I last saw the sun. Maybe it's been longer since we got dumped on the ground in the Yuki, is it too bright? Bright. Oh, I must say, it's a little bright for me as well. So what's our next move? We find Mew and get her to come with us. Yes, that's really our only option. Pickle's able to with the way she's been acting. She, is, she was interested in hearing any more from us. Mew can be real stubborn when she makes up her mind. She isn't going to want to listen. But what else can we do? If only there was some way we could get her to listen. Hey, what if we went over Shakamon? Oh, you mean get her on our side? Don't you think that'll be even harder? But remember how Shakamon tried to stop me just before she entered the trap? Could be worth a shot. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I believe I better return to the castle. Wait, Shijimon. Yes. It uh, sounds like you've been looking out for Mew. And you helped guide us all the way here. So, thanks. Oh, don't mention it. Alright, everybody. Let's go pay Mew another visit. Takuma, wait! Oh, you what's wrong? Yeah, seriously, you look surprised by something. What are you looking at? Wait, what? So slow, guys. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, but I'm scared! So once we said we're her servants. Hmm, what well, if it's in Patamon and Patamon? Have they been following us? I don't think so. They look terrified. Yeah, they seem totally panicked. Run away! Enemy attack! Hey, what? Hey, what's going on? It's you. We've got better things to worry about now. I need even more than a scoop of onions with you. What? Who is it? Who's here? Get up, you're still after the queen. They came out of nowhere surrounding the park and pouring them from every direction. We faced them down back to the by the throne, but the queen servants were all gone for. You think it's them? It certainly sounds like Arkenimon and her minions. You've gotta be kidding me. Talk about bad timing. This can't be happening. You mean we've got to go up against them again? So they're attacking in order to get to Mew. Yes, to the queen. But we shouldn't be standing here talking like this. We need to run away. Uh, 
Hey, wait. This is bad. Mew's in danger. I have to go save her. Wait, are you just going to abandon those poor little things? Yes. <laughs> Didn't you hear? The kidnappers are after Mew. Yes, if they're after him and Chad, Palma and the others shouldn't come to much harm. Yeah. Rushing to her rowdiness side may be for the best. But shouldn't we at least come up with some kind of strategy? We need to get the lay of the land and figure out how many we're up against. Yeah, didn't they say Mew's servants were all done for? They may already have her, in which case we should prioritize our own safety. No. We don't have time to argue about this. Mew's life is on the line. What now? This is the worst possible time for us to be divided. Come on, there's no time. We have to go now. Takuma, what's your take? You're always got the most level-headed opinion. What should we do? I, uh... don't have time to think this over. I do think it's probably best to prioritize saving Mew, but then again, it's really dangerous to move with no idea where the enemy might be. So do we prioritize gaining intel, or do we put our own safety first? Takuma! Takuma! Don't just stand there, say something! Normally, I'd say gather info, but I think this would be... Knowing that the combat is pretty easy in this game. I don't know. I'll do what I really would do. Gather information. What if we got a bunch of intel on the enemy to help us safely rescue Mew? Uh, do you think that's really what she should be doing right now? Yeah, I'd be, it'd be one thing if the enemy hadn't attacked yet, but it's now too... Now it's too late. But if we charge in blindly, we'll be in danger. I should think her rowdiness is the one in the most danger right now. Well, um... Yeah, you're right. Must be terrifying for her to be on her own right now. We're not going to save her. What's the point? Minoru. Takuma, I changed my mind. We gotta go save Mew. Yeah, I should've picked the other choice. <laughs> Alright, let's go in there and save her. Thank you. Thank you all. Shima, thanks for all your help. We're going to hurry back to you. Eh, darn, I should've done that <laughs> Well, whatever. Not so fast. What about those two? Oh, he means Harumiyuki? Oh, okay. My sister and I will keep up. Keep up. Mm, no, I don't like it. I'd better go with you. Alright, let's hurry back to the throne. Sorry guys, but I'm gonna need your help just a bit longer. Hmm. Is it a battle? Nope. Mew, are you okay? That's her There's no sign of Mew anywhere. Oh no, it's more of them. Huh, there's Biamon. Hey, over there. Don't be scared, Biamon. I'm right here. Oh, you! You guys really scared me. Where's Mew? What happened to your queen? Oh, the queen is in hiding. Hmm. Me, she escaped? That's right, she took off real quick. Yeah, that sounds like her. She always has been good at running away. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I hope she's okay. For what must have been this snap decision, it sounds like she made it the right choice. Yet, we still cannot be sure of her safety. That's true. There's no telling how long she'll be okay. Gotta look out for her. 
Well, she might be fast, but she's still a kid. She can't have gone that far. So, do we search the park again? We'll have to. It'll be tough with all the enemies, but we gotta split up and find her. Under the circumstances, I don't see any other option. Leave this to me. Get her in from this place where Let's go find Mew before the kidnappers get her. We'll find some way to help too. Alright, Miyuki. We'll need you two to help out again. Are you both okay with that? Yeah, we'll help. If it, if it starts to get dangerous, me and Takuma will protect you. Thanks, Takuma. Alright, everybody. Let's go. Hey, exploration. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here, and then next time, we'll continue looking for Mew again. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.